Hey, what's up you guys? This is Jessica, or you can call me Jess, either one works. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like this content, share it if you must. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And I appreciate you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna get into another story time video. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of the video, yes, this is a story where I snitched on myself and I'm about to tell y'all why. Let's start with a quick background check of the story. So um, this happened when I was in eighth grade. So this is a huge throwback for me. This was back in 2009. And um, for the sake of the story, we're just going to call my friend Orange because orange was her favorite color. Like I do remember that about it, even though it was a long time ago. And me and her are, we're no longer friends, but I do remember that about her. So me and orange, you know, we're friends. We're really good friends at this time. And we have been friends since like, you know, since the sixth grade and we all decided to go out to the movies. That was like the big thing back then. I know people still go to the movies now, of course, but back then, like the movies was really like the biggest thing to do back then, I think, because there wasn't that much stuff to do back then. So, you know, we decided like, okay, we're going to go to the movies. I really am trying to remember what movie it was, but I don't remember. I don't remember what movie it was, but it was a movie that had just came out. This was opening weekend and my friends were like, okay, we're gonna go to such and such and such theater. So if you're from Maryland, I don't know if, obviously if you're not from Maryland, you won't know, but the movie theater that we went to was the one out in Hunt Valley, Maryland. So that's like, I believe that's Baltimore County, but honestly, I'm not sure, but it's in the county. It's not in the city. So we went to the Hunt Valley movie theater at that time. It's still open to this day, but I don't be going around there no more. So anyway, um, Back then, that was the movie theater that we decided to go to. So we all planned to go to the movies on that Friday. And you know, my mom, she worked at night most of the time. So I wasn't able to make it to like every outing and stuff, you know? So, but this time she wasn't working. So I was like, okay, perfect. Like she's not working. That means I can go to the movies with my friends, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So my mom decides to take me and of course she gives me money for the movies. Cause y'all know I was in the eighth grade. I didn't have a job. I didn't really have any money saved up. So she, you know, she used to give me money to go to the movies and stuff. Or when I went out with my friends, period, she would give me money. So she gave me like 20 bucks. Okay. She gave me 20 bucks and she dropped me off at the movie theater. And I don't know, for some reason, like the movie theater that night was just packed. Like it was so packed that night. Like, I don't even think that movie theater is popular anymore. I know for a fact it's not popular anymore. Maybe it was just because it was opening night. There was a lot of movies playing at that time and if y'all know like this was again 2009 online ticketing was not a thing back then like that that was not a thing so people were just you know like looking up show times like you could look up show times online obviously but your ass had to go to the box office to grab a ticket so and I'm telling you this because it ties into you know it ties into the story so yeah so my mom drops me off at the movie theater she gives me 20 bucks cool and you know my friends are already there like I think I'm like the second to last person to show up I think I'm like the last person in our group to show up because I lived further out at that time so I pull up to the movies my mom uh you know says like bye you know like all right I'll call you after the movie's over whatever same thing and I meet my friend inside well I meet my friends inside and they already had got their tickets so when I say again it was packed in there it was packed like all the lines were like really long in there to all the box offices. I don't remember how many box offices there were because I haven't been to this movie theater in a minute, but it's not a lot. It's maybe like like two or three box offices that are open. Maybe like two, maybe two because the movie theater wasn't that big. So yeah, so we go into the movies, whatever. I'm standing in line, like waiting to get my ticket, like I got my money ready. And I go up to the front, y'all. I go up to the front and the person at the box office, the worker is like, oh, that movie is sold out. And I was like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> wait a damn. Wait, what? Like <laughs> the movie sold out. Like what? Like I know like it shouldn't have been a super surprise because again, it was packed up in there. Like, I mean, it was deep. Like I'm talking people from our school were there at the time. Like people who were obviously probably from that area were there like everybody and their mother and father were there for some reason that night all right so boom the movie sold out okay and i'm panicking like i'm kind of panicking because my mom had already left and like i said we lived 
further out like from this area <clears throat> excuse me we live further away from this area because this was in the county and we lived in the city at the time so well we i still live in the city but where i was living at the time it was like deeper into the city so you know i didn't want to call my mom back and have her come all the way back to come you know like come grab me and granted i know she would have done it like i know that's what i should have done i should have just called her and been like hey mom yeah, can you pick me up like the movie sold out Da, 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 da. But y'all, I didn't want to do that at that time because I really liked spending time with my friends back then because like I said, I wasn't able to go to every single outing. I called my friend, so I called my friend Orange. This is where Orange comes into play. I called her and I was like, hey girl, can you please like, can you come out and like come to the front, like to the lobby because they're telling me that the movie is sold out. So she's like, okay, yeah, like I'm about to come out. So she comes out. It's either I called her or I texted her. I'm not sure. I may have, may have texted her because, like I said, it was hella people in there and it was loud. So, yeah. But I contacted her to come out and meet me. So she comes out and meets me and she's like, hey, what's going on? And I was like, the person just said the movie is sold out. Like, the movie is completely sold out. So, like, I'm probably just going to have to, like, call my mom and let her know that I got to go home because I'm like, I can't, you know, I can't stay around here by myself. And on top of that... Like everybody already had a ticket, so I'm like, I'm fresh out of luck, you know? So she was like, okay, wait, hold on. Like, I'll be right back. So Orange goes back into the movie theater. Um, she, you know, she goes, goes back real quick. It's like less than five minutes, she comes back. I'm still standing at the front. I'm standing like near the box office. Like I'm standing like not in the line anymore, obviously, cause tickets sold out, but I'm standing like, basically I'm standing like next to the box office. So waiting, waiting for her. So she comes back and she, you know, has her ticket, like her ticket in her hand. And she was like, here, come with me. So we go to the, um, I don't know what the name of the person is who checks the tickets, but the ticket person, the person that basically when you pass the box office, when you get your ticket, that person checks your ticket and tells you what theater you're going into, that person. So, you know, we go to that person and she's like, here, just take my ticket and just hold it up and show it to the guy. And... Keep in mind, y'all, this was the first time that I had ever done something like this. Like, I know it sounds like it's really not a big deal looking back at it. Like, you know, it's really not a big deal looking back. at it. It's not that bad. Like, it's really not. But at the same time, it's like, you know, that was a big deal to me back then because, you know, I was more like on the good girl side of things back then. I wasn't really doing anything wild. I wasn't doing anything wild or like reckless or anything. So to me, that was kind of like a big deal because also I wasn't good at covering things up. Like I wasn't good at lying. So I just never really tried to do anything because I just felt like if my ass gets caught, I'm going to get in trouble and I didn't feel like dealing with the consequences. But this night, like I was kind of desperate. I was just like, I don't want to go back home. You know, my friend, she's like, here, just take this and hold it up to the guy so he can see that you have a ticket because she was like, he already saw me. So he's just going to think I came out here, you know, to just grab you or something. And I was like, okay, okay. So I go in with the ticket. I show, I do what she says. I show the guy the ticket and he obviously lets me through. The guy completely was like, okay, yeah, go ahead. Like he didn't even look twice at the ticket. He was just like, oh, okay, yeah, cool. And I was like, wow, like that's all. <laughs> I was like, that's all it took to get into the movie. Like, I didn't even think about that. Like I didn't think about that. So the crazy thing is after that, so let me, let me just, um, continue the story first before I get sidetracked so we go into the movie like everything's cool and I don't know why like if it was sold out there was still one seat left in there for me like I was still able to sit down in a seat and everything like they my friends had saved me a seat and everything so I don't know why they told me it was completely sold out but we you know we enjoyed the movie okay so we're outside the movies like me and my friends we're in the lobby talking you know waiting for our rides and then my mom pulls up and she's like hey, how was the movie? Y'all know parents, like when they pick you up, they're like, hey, how was the movie? Or, you know, how was so-and-so's party? Like my like tripod just did this weird thing, just readjusted itself on its own. I don't know. But anyway, um, my mom, you know, like pulls up and I'm like, yeah, the movie was good. The movie was good. Like everything was cool. And everything was cool until she asked me, so where's my change? And I was like, oh, um, change and then as soon as she said that I was just like oh shit I completely forgot about the $20 that she gave me because I didn't spend it on anything I didn't spend it on a ticket I didn't spend it on a snack I didn't spend it on nothing I didn't spend it on anything nothing 
So it was just sitting in my purse the whole night, sitting in my pocket, whatever, the whole night. And my mom was like, yeah, so where's my change? And I was just like, oh yeah, um, here you go. So I just give her, I literally hand her the $20 in full and she was just like looking at it like, Two plus two is four, right? And five plus five is 10. Okay. What the fuck is this? What? Like, this is the $20 I gave you. Like, where's my change? Like. I thought you bought a ticket at the movies. Cause y'all remember the movies was not that expensive back then. The movies was actually way cheaper back then. It was like a ticket back then was like $8 or something. I don't know. It was like, it was less than $10 back then. Now the movie tickets be like uh, $12 to $15, even $18 nowadays. Like movie tickets are hella expensive now. So back then the movies wasn't that expensive. So, but she still, you know, gave me $20, like, just in case, you know, something had happened, or if I wanted to get a snack, whatever. But I didn't spend it on nothing, so I'm giving her back a full $20 bill, and she's looking at me like, what is this? Like, why do I have a full $20 bill back? And I was like, see, what had happened was, like, y'all know the ending. I snitched on myself. I snitched on myself, like, that was pretty much the end of me that night. I snitched on myself, my mom was like, oh, why did you do that? Like, you should have just called me when the movie was sold out. Like, why did you do that? Da, 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 that was wrong. Who told you to do that? And I basically kind of like snitched on Orange too a little bit. I know like that's that's bad, but she was just like, you know, like who like, you know, I was already caught, caught red handed. So she was like, who told you to do that? Or who convinced you? And I was like, well, it was just, you know, me and Orange, like we really wanted to, I mean, she really wanted me to, you know, see the movie, blah, blah, blah. So, but I told my mom, I tried to cover it up basically like that I should have said no, you know, my Orange, yeah, she offered it, but I should have just said no. So it was really on my fault. It's not her fault. Like she was just trying to be a friend to me, blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, hmm okay but you know don't do that shit again basically so i didn't like get punished or anything that night she just kind of gave me like a stern warning but of course i didn't do it again because i know if i did it again and i were to get caught i know it would have been some real problems for you know for me back then so i didn't want to go through that but yeah that's pretty much the story of how i snitched on myself because i wanted to sneak into the movies and the funny thing is um back at school on monday you know i told my friends like what had happened and they were like oh why'd you do that like why'd you snitch like oh you shouldn't have done that like you broke so easily basically and especially orange orange was just like oh why'd you say something like they weren't mad but they were just like come on come on jessica like just really like why'd you do that but they also weren't surprised because again i wasn't used to doing stuff like that i didn't do anything like that before until that night so i was just like okay whatever like it happened it's it's over um i'm just not gonna do it again i was like y'all know my mom is on some strict stuff like she'd be strict when it comes to things so you know and that was on me like i said i shouldn't have done it because i already knew my mom would have reacted a certain way but it's just funny because i really forgot that she gave me money to go to the movies once i got in because the main goal was just get into the movie so yeah, that was my story time. It was very short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for, you know, tuning into this video. And if you like this content, if you want to see more story times or any more content, just subscribe, like this content, share. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And also uh, this video should be uploaded like after Christmas because today is December 23rd. So once I edited everything, it should be uploaded definitely after Christmas. So um, you guys have a great Christmas, Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.